Okay, so so in the beginning here, this is 2017. This is when we first saw this first sign uh, that they put for the Raiders are coming. Hey, we're at the Raider Nation uh, preview center here in Las Vegas at the Town Square. Look at this clip we were showing, like here's the stadium. This is 2018. <gasps> Last year we went there. See, look at uh, what the oh, stadium looked like. This was live. They got, they're right up on top here. Look, they, got, they put a camera up here, guys. Last year, see, there's the countdown. We'd walk out there about once a week, it seemed like back then. Yeah. So that was now, and then this is then, now. This is now, so you can see the difference. This was then. See, we're showing, like, look at the, now, look at how much they have done. I mean, look at, that's the back side. They have, it's almost fully enclosed. Then, this is, like, the last year. And then now, I mean, look at these guys have done so much work. It's looking beautiful. And this was then. This was just last year, just a year ago. And then it's just crazy, all the progress. These guys just really have done amazing on this uh, job. So we love just to show um, all the work they've done. I mean, in a year, it's just gone from right there to, like, almost a whole stadium now. It's crazy. Because, you know, for the first year, I, they were primarily just excavating. The, this one right here is, you know, when they were excavating. And then now, look at this. Wow. <laughs> it's kind of crazy because we kind of went about once a week, so you didn't really – even realize how quickly it came up but now it's just like to see the the difference so we wanted to show you guys some of these before and after photos yes because these are the photos that we took just about a year ago some of them are two years ago but primarily most of them were last year um here's the front side like it's really coming together it's just amazing um we're gonna have the raiders here 2020 hey it's wednesday may 29 2019 we're down here at the Raiders Stadium. We haven't been down here in a minute and they have put up so many trusses and the whole backside is almost filled in. So pretty soon you won't be able to see very much of the inside when you come uh, driving around and walking around because it's going to be all enclosed. So uh, stay tuned for updates on Generation.com. So that's when we went down there on Wednesday. Um, see, these are all new photos now. I mean, look at this. Look at, it's really cool to see all those guys. Look at how they work all day on those cranes at that elevation. They must just be in the best shape. It's crazy. Did you ever see Say Anything? Yeah, with uh, John Cusack. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even think you finished what the point of that one. Well, don't you remember when you told his uh Oh, I didn't even get the. Uh, that's what I felt like. Uh, that's awesome. I didn't even get the joke till now. <laughs> I didn't even understand the joke till no. now. I thought you had more to say to that. So here's look at this. This is so they have. I don't even know how many trusses they have up now. It, they've been just flying, putting those trusses up. It's crazy. It almost like is the whole uh, top now. You're like I think that I don't even know how many they have left. So you'd have to probably check. Uh, what is it? Was it Raider, Raider 67? He. Uh, yeah, check out Raider Raiders, 1967 on YouTube. He uh, keeps like a pretty more often up to date, like where it's like weekly or even more often than. Yes, yeah, he's the official source for like the daily regular updates. Yeah. We like doing a more broad, um, like then and now, and like show like more like every couple of weeks the the progress. So look at this. This is the, the back side. So if you were coming away from the strip, like if you were coming from L.A., this is what you'd see first. Look at all that work. So once they enclose this, as you can see now, uh, it's almost getting enclosed. Oh, yeah, John. Then you won't be able to see. Oh, you did? Good. John has got a shout out. Oh, that's so cool. People are starting to notice us from the, from the videos when we go out there. It's kind of cool. This area right here is a retaining wall that they had to build so that they could go uh, build that road down into the stadium. But the problem is 
when it rains, the retaining wall starts to slide. So they've actually had to build this wall twice, and it takes a lot because it's just dirt holding it up. So once it gets uh, rainy, it all slides on down. Yeah, right here, see, this is, they're going to enclose this. This is from the backside, and then you're not going to be able to see um, any of the work being done. So this is kind of cool to get to see this now. Because we saw, we watched the T-Mobile Stadium go up, and, uh, you know, you, you think it's all this time it's been going up, and then before you know they got the whole the outside out, and you're like, oh, wow, you can't even see anything that's going on. Remember that, Jerry Rich? So once they put the, um, the outside, it, then it looks the same every time you drive by. So this is the fun time when you really get to see the progress. Yes, yes. I'm really glad you put this together. Oh, thank you. So look at these guys. This, this is, they're working on another truss to go up. They work on the trusses down for a while on the ground, and then they lift them up. So I was reading about some of these cranes, and the Barnhart cranes are able to lift up to 3 million pounds. I'm not sure the one here, three I don't know pounds. if it can lift. I heard it could lift 1 million. I'm not sure if it's the one that can lift 3, three million pounds. Can you imagine? These cranes now, are phenomenal. So this this kind of yellowish orange one on the left there, now would you that's say that the that, one that I know it can lift at least 1 million. Well, can it, do you think that it could lift... The Queen Mary. <laughs> I don't know how much that weighs, so I couldn't say. To be well, you honest. had your. Didn't you? Have, I graduated on the Queen Mary. Yes. I thought you had your prom on it or something. No, high school graduation. Graduation. Yeah, in L.A., in Long Beach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that was um. That was just a little bit of then and now for you guys showing like so you can actually see like people don't realize like what how much work they've done sometimes because they think like it should be done already. I think sometimes people don't realize like you have to go. They had to dig so far down and they just had so many things they had to do, you know, before they could even get started on the actual uh, iron part of it, you know, where you can start seeing it from the road. People didn't even, weren't interested. We would go down there and take photos. No one really was interested. I was watching the dirt being moved around. <laughs> you know, I remember that. Those were the days when I thought to myself, why, why am I taking pictures of piles of dirt? <laughs> we were the only ones down there. Now everyone kind of stops by when they go. Well, I thought it would be an interesting, interesting task to try to make it more interesting. Oh, is it done? Yeah. Okay, great. Well, hey, thanks, Jedi Joy, for that update. Hey, guys. Okay, so, hey, for those of you that are Raider fans here for the station, you guys are going to check out now, probably, I imagine. For everyone else, we're going to continue on to the podcast. Okay, cool. So, if you guys want to watch, stick around, stick around. If not, then um, then go ahead and jump off. Okay, perfect. I like that. Okay, yeah. so, um, first up, what we want to talk about today is, as you guys have all been anxiously waiting, is our new theme song. Right, yes. So, yes, yes, did I yes. tell us about the, the background on that? Okay, so uh, we did this song called We Care A Lot. The song is originally by Faith No More, who were an underground band in the 80s and 90s. Out of the, they were out of the Bay Area. Yeah, if, if some people, some people say, oh, of course I know them, but you know, for some younger people might not know who they are. Um, so, that they were popular then. You could look them up. But anyways, uh, we did a cover, but the thing is, Jedi Ridge pretty much change the whole song so the song you're hearing is their lyrics um and a little bit of their riffs but most of it is jedi rich's uh production okay well it, it is definitely my production however however you know i gotta tell you i learned more trying to learn that song right. than i've learned in all i've learned i mean it, it was such a hard song to learn so so the reason why it turned into more of my production is because you know, you just kind of get so involved into it, you know. And, yeah. and for those of you who know the song, it's a really, really cool song. And uh, so, hey, anyway, here you go. Oh, cool. We're going for first that. opening scene. So you guys are going to get the first dip. So this is the raw edits, you guys. So so don't be bitching that it, it, like, it don't clip right or things are wrong or, or this and that. Because I don't even have, the, like, any special effects on or anything. You guys get to see it in the process. Okay. So this will be 
Um, we made this in Final Cut Pro for those of you kind of following along, learning how to how to edit. So here you go. Here's a, here's your first sneak preview. Welcome to the Jedi Joy Rich Show. We're based out of Las Vegas. Broadcasting live weekly from the plush studios at the Seagull Suites. Okay, so you guys kind of get a little bit of a clue what it's going to sound like. Oh, man, I love it. You guys, I just got my place show of it too. Jarvis just let me see things usually until they're done. No, I get little samples, but so that was the first time I got to see it. Maybe not everyone wants to see us jumping around in our underwear. <laughs> well, I thought it was entertaining, personally. I, in my opinion, most entertaining thing I've seen on TV. We're actually in swimsuits, so oh, no yeah. one should be offended. Yeah, oh yeah, swimsuits. swimsuits. Yeah, we're actually in swimsuits, so. So just for any people that have a <laughs> difference between underwear and swimsuits, which I don't understand at all. Yeah, but... what is the difference? <laughs> Why is it that, like, if you wear... I get, I get people Why do get women mad get... at me for wearing underwear uh, like online. But then if I was in a swimsuit, which right now I'm in on a swimsuit for everyone, in case yeah, you're, stand up, show yeah, what you got, show what you're working with. It's a swimsuit. Yeah, but if what? But if it was underwear, people would be like, "Oh my gosh, you're wearing underwear," which I don't understand. Tell me how underwear. Mm -hmm. Okay, the only argument you can say is that some underwear is more sheer. Than some bathing suits, mm -hmm. but that's totally depends on the fabrics of the underwear and the bathing suits. I've seen completely sheer bathing suits, and I've, and seen, I've seen some seen of your underwear. Yeah, and I've seen some. And underwear, I have some granny panty oh, underwears. So, and that's what I tend to wear around the house is my granny panty ones. She has some I'm underwear, coming. like like it's kind of underwear, like like let's say if you if you got a really bad cut, you need something. <laughs> you know? We've used them for that when we lived in the cave. We did. I had to finish a lot of up Jai Rich with a pair of underwear. Okay. Before. So yeah. hey, no, but so that yeah, I don't understand that. So that is actually an issue. That's a little right. bit of sexual repression if that you are is having an issue repression. with underwear versus swimsuit. What and, and what she's talking about is that thing where like like oh my god, I can't believe that that, that she'd walk around in her underwear, <laughs> and then she turns around, grabs a towel, and they go in the pool, and then the lady's like. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Especially because nowadays, some of those bathing suits are straight up like, big, uh, they're thongs, yeah. and they're like, I mean, yeah. some of them, remember last time we went to the pool, we were like, wow, they've, they've gotten pretty risque with some of the bathing suits. Very so, risque. Yeah, good, oh, good man, for them. I'll tell you we, what. We enjoy it. We're, for those of you who are not from or visit Vegas very often, if you're looking for the latest trends in bathing suits, come to Vegas, go to the pool. In fact, I think one of her ex-boyfriends, all he did was come to Vegas and go to the pool. Probably still does. Probably still does. And why wouldn't you? Okay, yeah. so hey, check it out. So here's... Okay, I want to play more of my goddamn song, yes. goddammit. We care a lot about disasters, fires, floods, and killer bees. We care a lot about the NASA shuttle falling in the sea. We care a lot about starvation and the food that live it bought. We care a lot Okay. That's all you gonna see now. I love it. So we're getting there. That was the first time I got to see it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. Like... Because you know what? Hey, as you guys know, for everyone who's been following us, we care a lot, and and you guys care a lot too. That's why you guys follow us. And the things we care about, let's let's start labeling them off. For not from the song. The song is the song. Um, beautiful song. Thank you guys for for letting us use that. Um, and uh, but go ahead and 